Hi everybody, I'm Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Most volcanoes on Earth are located at the boundaries of tectonic plates, the plates that move around and make up the surface of the Earth, where they come together, where they spread apart. That's a very common place to see volcanoes. But both Yellowstone and Hawaii occur in the middle of tectonic plates, far from the boundaries. That's because these sorts of volcanoes are powered by what we call hot spots. These are anomalous areas of melting that are sourced deep within the Earth. And as they rise up, they sort of burn their way through the tectonic plate, create a volcano. But as the tectonic plate moves, it gradually carries the volcanoes away from the hotspot source, and the hotspot has to punch through again. So for hotspots, you actually see a trail of volcanoes that gets older and older and older the farther away you get from the hotspot. In Hawaii, this is a trail of old islands and seamounts that stretches all the way back to Russia and Kamchatka. And in Yellowstone, we can see that trail stretching across southern Idaho, the Snake River Plain, with the volcanoes getting older and older the farther away you get. Now, there are some important differences between the volcanism in Hawaii and Yellowstone. Now, Hawaii is on an oceanic plate, and that allows magma to rise more quickly. It doesn't stick around and change its composition in the crust. It has a basaltic composition that's got less silica in it. It's more fluid, and you get these runny lava flows that Hawaii is famous for. It builds these shield-like volcanic shapes. But Yellowstone is on a continental plate, and so the magma rises much more slowly. Eruptions are much less frequent, and the magma that's generated has a different composition, higher in silica content. It's called rhyolite, and it has much more potential to be explosive. So because of the different settings, oceanic and continental, you get fluid and frequent eruptions in places like Hawaii, and less frequent eruptions in a place like Yellowstone, this sticky lava that can occasionally explode with, with extreme violence. So some interesting parallels between these hotspots in Hawaii and Yellowstone, but also some very important differences because of their setting. Hey! Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit the bell down below to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for your support.